Aloha everyone, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with a beautiful pick a card for what timeline are you upgrading and shifting to at this time? Pile one is on the left, pile two is in the middle, and pile three is on the right. So take your time and choose your pile now. If you need to pause the video, that's perfectly okay. And there will be timestamps in the description box below. So just let spirit lead you and I will see you in your reading. Aloha pile one. This is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with a, um, a fun and a uh, wonderful pick a card for the changes that are happening right now. So essentially, we're going to look at what timeline are you realigning to at this time? Um, this is being recorded right after the Lionsgate uh, in 2022. We also have the influence of the North Node and an Aquarius supermoon coming up, um, which all has to do with destiny. So we are all being moved to higher timelines and course corrected at this time. So if we've gone off course in some way, um, which we as a collective and as a species are being course corrected, this is for everyone, not just um, for certain signs or anything like that. And so this is a time where spirit says, okay, we need to put you on the path to your destiny. So course corrections are made. Um, at this time, we'll be shifting timelines to our highest timeline to what is our actual destiny. So we're going to look into what timeline are you shifting to at this time? What changes are being made? And um, maybe look at ways to navigate that as well. All right. So thank you guys so much. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for hitting that bell button. All those things help my channel to grow and expand. Thank you for those who have donated or tipped and excuse me. Thank you for those who um, comment. I'm really enjoying building a community with you guys and engaging with each and every one of you. So thank you so much for that. Um, I do uh, private readings for those who have asked. The information is in the description box below as well as the disclaimers about scammers. So please um, do not give your money to people who reach out to you posing as me or any other tarot readers. Um, there's scams going about, okay? So just if you would like a private reading, the information is in the description box below or you're welcome to go to my website, thewhisperingdragonfly.com and get a uh, book there as well, all right? And I do a contest every month, free to enter, free to win, for a 30-minute session with me personally. I'll let you know at the end of the video how to enter that drawing as some are here just for the messages. Okay, let's get to it. We'll get another oracle card here. And we'll get to them. Um, beautiful. All right, so pile one, you chose the card of openness. And I'm really interested that this has a full moon on it. Because if you're watching this as it is being recorded, uh, we're a few days out from the Aquarius full moon, and it is a super moon. And one of my favorite <laughs> uh, love tarot readers from Steve's Love Tarot, he calls it the shit stirrer full moon. So there's a lot that's getting stirred up at this time to put us on the correct path, to put us on our path to, uh, excuse me, um, to put us on our path of our highest timeline. And so this is opening doors for you. So full moon is going to be really important. And even if you're watching this at a different time, because these readings are timeless, you'll still be in the energy of when it um, was recorded. Okay, so there's an opening coming. So do pay attention to your full moons. We have serendipity. So this is beautiful pile one. It feels like you guys are moving on to a higher timeline that's actually opening for you at this time. And there will be um, serendipitous moments where you meet people, where opportunities present themselves, when it feels like with your energy that there's been like a heaviness or a stagnancy, like, like you've been wanting for things to move forward, um, you know, say it's relationships, things just haven't been moving forward. 
uh, or if it's a, a career choice or a move, you've been doing the work, putting in the applications or trying to start your own business and the doors have been shut. Or with your health, you may have been working on some body changes and it's like you've hit a plateau. Um, this is about to open and move forward and you're going to have serendipitous meetings with people that are just synchronistic that just um where basically spirit plops people in front of you who are going to be helpful to you um to open these doors for you to put you on your new timeline one new timeline is opening up Ooh, beautiful pile one for pile one. Oh, that's do you want all of these? They do. Okay. Excuse me. My nose is itching. So if you, your nose started itching or you just grabbed a tissue, they showed me somebody just grabbed a, a tissue. Um, just pay close attention. It has extra meaning for you. Um, if that isn't you, don't worry. It's still a reading for you. Gorgeous. All right. So this timeline that's opening up, we have 10 of pentacles. Okay. You're opening up a timeline of abundance, resources taken care of, as well as the happy family, okay? Ten of Pentacles is like the earthen Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups can sometimes be fantasy land where we're in our head feeling the feels, but nothing has really manifested on earth. Ten of Pentacles says that not only are your... Um, like your love needs and your family needs going to be taken care of but also your financial needs the resources that you need are coming in this is one of my favorite cards in the deck okay so you are absolutely moving to this space of great celebration uh, abundance uh, what they're saying is your um what's opening for you okay is really huge as far as your creativity is concerned and this is coming after a time of a bit of heartbreak. So in the now moment, you may be like, yeah, right. Things have not been going well for me. This is really intense energy. And it is. And I feel like you may have had to make a decision to either let a relationship go, a friendship go, a job that you were hoping would work out. Basically, what this is showing is that when one door closes, another one opens and there is a little bit of this hurt or heartbreak energy that you're in at this time because there's been some disappointment, all right? And Spirit is acknowledging the disappointment, but they're moving you on to a brand new timeline. And this timeline is one where you're recognized for the work that you do, for your compassion, for the love that you give, and you're loved back. Six of Wands is victory after battle. So Spirit is acknowledging that you have been going through a trying time um, in your life. So if it's been in a relationship, it's like you had high hopes for it, but it's it actually ended up being more triggering rather than being more um, uh, coming together, right? Uh, if it was a project, you, it was like you put your heart and soul into something and it ended up being a battle, right? It ended up being, um, just stop after stop, you know, resistance. And what they're saying is that you have persevered and come through that victoriously. And six of wands says that you will be recognized on this new timeline for the hard work that you've done. I also want to point out that Jupiter is in retrograde at this time. When Jupiter goes retrograde, Jupiter is the great um, uh, beneficent. You know, it's a benevolent planet that expands everything that it touches, right? Because Jupiter gives out more energy than it takes in, okay? And when something goes retrograde, it allows us to receive blessings or lessons from the past. So Jupiter being the one that brings out abundance and blessings is bringing in at this time um, abundant blessings for work that you've already done. So you're going to be recognized for work that you have already done. Um, and they're showing me like her having these little wisps like underneath her eye. But at first I thought that it was like mascara from crying. And so it shows like you have been battle weary at this time but you're about to come into celebration okay 
This is showing you this new timeline has community for you. It has friendships. It has celebration. It has love. Okay. And so you're transitioning into this energy. Um, you'll have serendipitous meetings and openings of people that you meet randomly who will be soul tribe friends for the rest of your life. Um, people that you can do business with. Uh, you may even... Um, serendipitously meet your new partner um, and it's really really beautiful energy with this okay you're opening to the new worlds for yourself so anything that you feel like you had left behind it's going to be replaced but like tenfold so if you thought that this relationship that you had to let go of was going to be your soulmate match or what have you this is now um coming into you actually having that but it's like 10 times more than and better than you ever could have imagined and so where maybe before you were trying to make something work or accepting crumbs you're now going to be gifted a person who is absolutely adoring to you if it's been um work related anything that you left behind or if you lost your job or a job that you loved or a project failed you're going to have new ideas or an inventive ideas um, with a community or group that's actually they're going to help network you and help to uh, help you to meet the people that you need to meet so that you can move into this 10 pentacles and it's interesting as i went to pick up this 10 pentacles my elbow got stuck on that three of swords and it fell on the ground so it's basically showing that you are done with that sadness energy. You're done with the heartbreak energy. You've learned the lessons, okay? Um, and we've got the fool, which shows you are going into a brand new beginning, a new life. What Spirit's saying with this, that you are absolutely jumping, jumping to this new timeline and the door's opening for you. I love that it's zero point and it looks like an O, okay? It's like I see you jumping through the Stargate. Um, with that being said, what they are acknowledging um, is that notice that this fool has no baggage. They're just holding on to the flowers that have blossomed and this beautiful butterfly of change. They're looking at it with love and happiness and, and joyful anticipation. What your spirit team is saying for this group is that you have successfully cleared the baggage that would have held you back from this new beginning. Um, it makes me want to cry a little bit. I've been, you know, maybe you guys have also been really emotional the last few days. Um, go with the flow. This, this August is all about destiny. And so um, flow with it, okay? But what they're saying is that you have done the work and you have successfully overcome those past energies and this new beginning for you brings a bunch of light to you, okay? We have Page of Cups. Again, this is offer of love, opening in the areas of love, doing something that you would like to. And the Page of Cups is beautiful because there's a bit of a student vibe with the Page of Cups, okay? Um, like you're a student of love. You're learning what you love again on this new timeline and it's going to make you feel younger, youthful, more joyful, okay? I really, really love that energy. We do have death, um, which death is always death and rebirth. I love this death card because it indicates that she has willingly jumped off the cliff by the... Um, advice of spirit and I love how these wings are <laughs> lining up of both raven and uh, uh, dragonfly and you've jumped off the cliff on your own you've gone into that ego death so that you can be rebirthed this has to do this is scorpionic energy okay death and rebirth this is um, a Pluto's energy that helps you to change to see the shadow side and what they're saying with this is you've already done the process of the death part and now you're coming into the opening of the rebirth part and you're rebirthing into six of pentacles six of pentacles is harmony all sixes have to do with harmony universal love balance 
Six of Pentacles is a gift from the universe. It's saying that you will again have your needs met. And this is needs on multiple areas that are going to be met for you. Okay, this is a beautiful timeline. So anything that you had to let go of, again, this three of swords is trying to stick to my elbow. Okay, anything that you had to let go of, anything that hurt you, that you loved, that you tried to hold on to, okay, that you felt was going to stick. Okay, I finally found it this time. The right job, the right lover, the right diet plan, the right, you know, exercise plan, the, the right... Um, financial income stream, all right, the right friendships, and anything that was disappointing or that hurt your heart that you thought was going to stick, it's going to be rebirthed. And it may come, it could come in those people having a change of heart and it, it changing, but it feels like you're having a whole reason to celebrate, whole new people coming in that will love you, that they will understand you. All right, you're going from the darkness to the light. You're going from, um, you know, being hidden to being recognized. Uh, you're going to be shining in this new timeline. It's really, really beautiful energy. And there, please pay attention to signs and synchronicities because at this time they're going to be giving you different things. So with this, I'm noticing um, birds and butterflies. So specifically raven and butterfly may be significant. We have these little fairies, but they look like feathers to me. So white feathers may be a signal as well as four leaf clovers. All right. Um, and then we have the full moon. So pay attention to the full moon. Now, these sort of... Um, you don't go looking for these signs. These signs will present themselves um in a way where you're just in a synchronistic way where you're just walking through something and then boom you see a four leaf clover that you've never seen before and it could be on a sign or something all right or a butterfly just comes right up and lands on you or you know out of nowhere you see a raven or it, sh it keeps showing up in uh your news feed or something on social media or you see it in an interesting way um, when you're not expecting it. So this isn't like going out looking for these signs. But Spirit's going to be giving you these signs and synchronicities to let you know that you are on your new timeline and that an opportunity is presenting itself. So for instance, Dragonfly is clearly one of my spirit animals. And anytime I'm about to have a big change, incoming money, um, you know, incoming uh, love, dragonfly will will find itself um, will find me and sometimes they find me in like really weird ways so for instance the other day i was in the middle of town not near any water not near anything that should have a dragonfly and this um you know mating pair actively mating because dragonflies mate in air um flew right across <laughs> right in front of my car now, there wasn't anything around that would call for a dragonfly to be there, right? So that's what I'm talking about, is you will get these signs in rather miraculous ways. Let's do um, a few runes and see what else on this timeline, the new timeline. Wonderful. All right. Yes. Okay, so we got the rune of signals. All right, so signals, like we just said, are coming through. So Spirit's letting you know they are going to be sending you signals, signs and signals, synchronicities, to let you know that you're on your path. Okay? We have initiation, and it is in the correct um, positioning. All right. So you are initiating onto a new timeline. This is initiating you up into new skills for yourself, new love, into leadership, new... Um, new 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 we'll say it that way we have the gateway i love the rune of gateway this is this is the same as kind of opening here and the serendipity so the gateway says that we have completed the lessons on our current timeline and you're standing at a gateway and before you step through the gateway what's required is to do a bit of a life review 
to see all that you've experienced and gather the positive learnings into that space within your sub and unconscious mind that knows where to store your positive learnings. Be grateful for everything you learned, everything you gained in uh, experiencing life in this way or relating with this person or the job that you um, that you lost, but everything you learned there, everything you loved about it, even from childhood on. Uh, if y'all are into past lives, go back even into past lives if you need to and gather those positive learnings. See what you have um, learned up until now because you're going to walk through that gateway and leave it all behind you know leaving that past behind because remember that now is the moment of power and so in each moment we're only in now and so really beautiful energies here you're going to walk through that gateway we have the harvest harvest indicates that you're going to start having a harvest. The seeds have already been planted. It also is an indication of one year's time. So these beautiful blessings and this timeline shift, what they're showing is incrementally, you're going to be integrating this new timeline for the next year. So you're gonna see the blessings increase, 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 increase as the months go on. And then we have the blank rune, okay? Blank is the end, blank is the beginning. This is Odin's rune. What I love about this is it does mean that you have gone through a death of some kind. It's reiterating this death card, but it's also reiterating the, the new birth. Odin's rune says that you can write your own story. So on this new timeline, it's what do you want your new story to be? And remember that alignment is a radical acceptance of what is. So everything that you have just let go of, okay? Many of you had to get to the place of radical acceptance. As much as I would like this relationship to work, this is how it's really happening. As much as I would like this friendship to work, this is really what's happening. As much as I would have liked that job to work, I, this is really what happened, okay? So it's that acceptance part after the grieving period. And when you have that acceptance, it opens the door. It opens the gateway, okay, for you to have your harvest. And Odin's rune says you can now write your own story. So this is why the serendipity is going to be unfolding for you. This is why there's going to be these new energies coming in because you have laid down the resistance. You have accepted what is in the now moment so that what you want can come in okay remember that love is not attachment love is uh, acceptance all right and that's accepting it for you know people situations for exactly what they are uh, not what we want them to change to be okay so really really beautiful energies you guys you are about to be blessed um and the other thing Spirit's saying is your lonely days are over. So I think that's a song somewhere, um, but I'm not quite hearing the melody. Um, but what they're saying here is like, it may have been a lonely path. You may have had to make some decisions that made you scared to be alone again um, on your path, but you're going to replace it with a whole community of people who love you and cherish you and appreciate you and uh, lots of abundance lots and lots and lots and lots of abundance so please dream big because you have a lot to bring to the world and you're going to be put into the path to receive in your big dreams not the little oh i can get it easily dreams this is the what you thought was impossible but then remember impossible says i'm possible so love this you guys i'm very happy for you this is a beautiful step up um, and you deserve it is what Spirit's saying because you have gone through the shadow work. So much love to you. Um, for those of you who would like to enter the drawing, remember it's free to enter, free to win. Um, please be a subscriber if you're not already. So subscribe, hit that bell button, like and share this video. And then in the comment section below, um, please write, I am moving on to my highest timeline. I'm moving on to my highest timeline. That lets me know that you would like to enter the drawing, that you claim the reading, and I will enter your name into that drawing. 
and do that on the first of the month and announce the winner and hopefully it is you. So until next time, aloha. Aloha Pile 2. This is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with a beautiful pick a card reading for what timeline are you shifting to at this time? What timeline are you aligning to? Uh, the reason I'm doing this one is because we've just had, uh, we're in August right now of 2022. Remember, these are timeless readings, but you'll delve into the energy of whenever you watch this. And this particular August, we've had the Lion's Gate. We also have the North Node kind of in a sandwich here around the Lion's Gate. The North Node has to do with destiny and soul's purpose. Uh, we have Jupiter in retrograde bringing blessings from the past. We have Uranus and I think Mars in retrograde. People are square. They're, these planets are squaring off um, to release what no longer serves and truly bring in your highest timeline. This is, um, and we also have the full moon in Aquarius coming up, which is a super moon, the last super moon of the year. And all of this astrological energy is bringing about a, a cauldron here, a little cosmic soup, as it were, of course correction. It's bringing us onto our path of destiny, uh, our path of what we are uh, moving into, okay? And, um, and helping us to make a course correction wherever in whatever areas that we need to do that. So we're going to look into what timeline are you stepping into, um, possibly how to navigate that. We're just going to leave it open to spirit. All right. Before I get started, I want to say thank you. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for hitting that bell button, uh, sharing all the things. Uh, thank you for those who have donated, tipped or sent me mail. I'm so grateful for that. And um, thank you for those who comment. I'm loving the community we're building here. I love engaging with you. So please continue. I'm really enjoying that um, and enjoying all of you, of course. I do offer private readings. That is in the description box below of how to book those private readings. I've got Etsy option, or you can go to my website, thewhisperingdragonfly.com and book there. Um, please know that I'm not on any of the social media right now. Um, so if anyone posing as me is asking you for money or asking you to do a reading, please know that's a scam. Save your money, report them or ignore them, um, but please save your money. Uh, if you want to uh, get a reading, I'm here for you. Just be, uh, you can just look in the description box. I also do a, a drawing every month, free to enter, free to win for a 30 minute session with me personally. I will let you know at the end of the video how to enter that as some are just here for the messages. Okay, let's get started and see where you're at. All right, we have stillness that you guys chose. So this is beautiful. You're moving into a timeline of inner peace. What Spirit's saying to me is that you're moving into a timeline that where you are in integrity with yourself, your divine masculine and feminine are working together so they're all one in your personal system you're learning how to be still and be in the now moment remember now is the moment of power uh, it feels like with any of the chaos that may be around you any of the things that may have been leaving at this time you're learning how to find your center within yourself and move into a position of peace and calm, regardless of the changes that are going on around you. This stillness is going to serve you to help to serve others, as well as bring in really beautiful abundance for you. So where before, if people were acting out of sorts, so say someone around you was depressed or, um, you know, this group feels like you guys are a group of empaths, you know, or a group of people who feel other people's stuff or, or sense energy really, really well. And previously, it may have taken you out or you may have been wavered by people because of your compassion, because of your love, because of you trying to help people. Because we also have the cards to the sea and a leg up, okay? I feel like you guys help people who have been depressed or who have been in situations where their health was at risk or they were 
um, down and out, okay? This is a very compassionate group, and you've helped to provide a leg up for other people. But I feel like what that has done is caused you to, at times, dismiss your own needs, wants, values, your own best interests. And through time, that actually ends up putting you out to sea and making you need a leg up, right? And so this timeline that you're jumping onto is moving you into getting a leg up. It's like spirit is intervening. Notice the faces here in the sky. Where's this one? Yeah, it's right under there if you can see it, okay? And so, so spirit's coming in and saying, we're going to take you out of situations that have been chaotic or have been pulling on your energy in such a way that it's drained you or caused you to move away from your purpose. Because remember, this is about destiny that we're moving into. So we're completely course correcting. So for some of you, you've got whole on relationships or jobs or like some of you might move to other locations. All right. Um, Oops, excuse me, I got an itch here behind my shoulder. If that's you, they just showed me somebody with those old school like hand uh, <laughs> back scratchers. <laughs> and I don't know, might be dating myself. I think that was in the 80s and 90s. It looked like they were long sticks and looked like a little hand and it would like... Uh, so if you happen to have one of those, uh, let me know in the comments, but this, uh, and, and you happen to be using it, they're just saying pay close attention. <laughs> Uh, that's very random so that won't be for everybody um but anywho you guys are moving into a space of uh, inner peace and stillness it doesn't mean that you're going to be still okay this actually i feel like the energy is ramping up for you to be um more active to have more exciting things happen to have a leg up on situations but your inner self instead of feeling everybody's chaotic emotions in your belly you know giving you headaches giving you pains in your body you're going to be in your center and be still where um i think previously it may have been hard for you guys to be in crowds some of you might have chosen to be more of a hermit because of this tendency to overfeel. it's like you're getting a tune-up so that you can still assist people because um, I do feel like you guys love to do that but you're going to be um, moving into the stillness all right within you to to do that so if some of you guys are healers oh I just got like a big ping on my side there if some of you guys are healers um, you know, nurses, doctors, massage therapists, Reiki practitioners, energy healers, you know, all of the things, um, you're actually going to be elevating in the way that you can assist others to heal. Like you're going to be able to transmute the energy, excuse me, easier without going into your body as much to do that. All right. What timeline is pile two uh, shifting to here? Okay. All right. So for some of you, this won't be for all who had like a chaotic marriage that was clearly not for you. Some of you may be getting a divorce. And this is like, the, for those of you that this is the message for, because it won't be for everyone, you know that you've needed to ha get this divorce and, um, and leave this particular relationship so it's actually going to provide you a leg up to leave that person behind okay and some of you may have children and so all is well you know you'll be able to um, take your children with you okay but you're leaving a situation that made you feel alone even though you might have been in the presence of another all right let's get some more cards out here yeah, before what timelines pile two shifting to? It's too many. Can't give me half the deck. <laughs> You're wanting a really good shuffle here. So it feels like you guys are really learning to leave the burdens behind. You're um, 
getting that stillness within yourself after time of chaos and i like this is such a strong energy about a relationship breaking that's going to be positive for you okay yeah um okay how do i say this nicely okay um so this is this is the main message they're giving me so if you are not in a relationship that is um on the way out or toxic uh choose another pile okay uh, but some of these you might have been holding on to a person in your energy field as well okay what this is showing we have three of swords and hierophant with the ten of wands there's a break happening in a long-term situation what they showed me is really toxic patterning and some of you may have even uh, suffered some domestic violence or abuse I don't like talking about that, but they are giving it to me, so I have to honor that, okay? So if that's you, I'm very, very sorry that that has happened to you. Please get the appropriate help that you can if you need assistance of getting out of this situation. Um, but it feels like that a really burdensome marriage, long-term commitment, some of you it might even be a friendship that's been long-term or a family member that's been off base, um, but there's been a sense of obligation to this person or situation that has caused chaos has made you feel lonely in the midst of that and you're moving to a timeline where you can release that burden all right and you can release that person and finally feel the stillness within yourself again okay we have eight of wands there's communication coming in we have page of pentacles in the world so what's happening is someone's going to uh, give you a leg up okay someone's gonna come in and help you to communicate to help you to move through this I also notice these are all females on these cards okay so if you happen to be a lady leaving a partner being asked to complete a cycle because the world says that a, a cycle has ended okay this is positive you can end this cycle because it also indicates new beginnings we have eight of wands and page of pentacles it feels like that with this that your your people your tribe your friends are going to help you get a leg up okay uh they're going to help you find the resources that you need say that you need to get an apartment or need to uh find um you know uh money to walk away or what have you there is options available for you here so seek out the helpers from your friends and loved ones and it doesn't have to be as deep as like domestic violence or anything of that sort that just happened to be a message for maybe just one or two of you okay but they want to give you the uh, hope and also ask you to seek out the professional help that you can get to move through this situation i also feel like friends are going to come to help you get a leg up here to help you to enjoy the peace and the stillness because the other thing too is the swans have a lot to do with the twin flame journey okay and so some of you may have been holding on to a toxic um twin flame because you listened to the story of what a twin flame is and felt like you had to keep going with this person and a pair of swans indicates a twin flame journey but this is one swan here so some of you may be giving up on a person that you thought was a, a twin flame or a soulmate, okay? And you're walking away from that situation because it had become toxic, because it had put you out to sea. It had put you into a position of not being in your strength previously. We have the four of pentacles here. So you are going to pull back your energy here. We have the emperor and strength. So you're going to pull back your energy from someone who has been in their ego. Um, and again, I noticed that we've got the badger and the baby. Okay, so some of you may have children and you will protect that child no matter what. Okay, or children. You do have the strength to move through this and strength has to do with gentleness. It's the gentleness to tame the beast inside. This does not mean that the person that you are with is a bad person. 
It's just that they are still coming from ego and you are moving into a higher level of your spirituality. You know that you want more. Um, this is a situation where you know that it's been toxic for quite some time and you've been in your head about it. But you are going to build a great foundation. All right. So um, you're going to have people who help you to get a leg up to rebuild because it's going to rebuild for the positive for you. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have eight of swords. So you've really been in your head about it, contemplating this for some time and not been really sure of how how to do the action steps. But they're saying that um, in this month of August, go with the flow here because the people and the opportunities are going to come to give you a leg up. And you know what happens when you move through this? You get 10 of cups. Okay. This is wish fulfilled plus a happy home. All right. So you are in the right direction. Okay. Reach out for help. Ask for people, you know, your girlfriends, ask for um, your guy friends. If you got them, ask for, uh, you know, professional help um, and resources. Okay. Use your network because you've got it here. Okay. You really do. And I know you've had some mental conflict around this because the purpose of this relationship was to help you to move through your shadow side. So it may have brought up a lot of triggers, trauma. You guys both may have been fighting with one another or dealing with really like um, hard energies. Okay. And that's why I said you're the person that you're moving away from. They're not a bad person. You guys were caught up in, in the shadow side of things. And you were together for that purpose to move through your shadows, but now you have successfully done it. So you're moving into this time of four of wands celebration. Okay. You're going to be course corrected to a new path where you will walk away okay from from this person so spirits reiterating this walking away from from this particular energy this person some of you may have been in no contact with this person for a long time but been holding on based upon a story twin flame or otherwise um or based upon this feeling because it's been such a strong connection that you've wanted to hold on to it but you know in your heart of hearts how that's made you feel and you went from being vibrant and amazing to feeling lonely and out to sea and by yourself and notice she's looking down when spirits right there uh, for her okay um, but she's not seeing which way to go at this time all right so really beautiful energies here they're not necessarily easy energies, but they're beautiful energies because you're moving into this change that's going to bring about that 10 of cups. It's going to bring about uh, you refreshing yourself where previously you may not have been, you may have been focused solely on the other person. And this is now giving you the opportunity to move into your own inner stillness your own inner self i'm going to get some runes here beautiful beautiful God, whoa all right we've got two different decks here so we have uh possessions all right so possessions talks about inheritance remember people are going to give you a leg up all right so if you're in divorce you may get a good portion of things uh, if you're moving on, there may be um, from this sacrifice of this particular relationship or thought pattern of, you know, wanting to be with them or trying to make it happen. You're going to actually have incoming possessions. This talks about money and inheritance. I use two different rune decks or runes and we got fertility twice, one in each. Okay, so you absolutely are coming in time in, into a time of fertility and abundance and it's because you have walked away from that energy that has been holding you down all right for some of you you may have wanted children with this person and it never really happened um, and you may have thought that you were not fertile now mind you i'm not a doctor so please talk to a professional here but what i'm seeing is that like 
you weren't fertile with that person um, but now you're going to be like doubly fertile here uh, with someone new we have opening so the door is opening for you all right because you're choosing to make this decision and to move into the stillness of yourself and we have the self the self talks about um, correcting your relationship with yourself that's part of the mark of the spiritual warrior and inside of this rune this top part here with the two triangles intersecting that's the rune of breakthrough okay and so within the rune of self there is always a breakthrough and you are getting that you're opening to it these are incredible runes you are about to have abundance come in you are about to have an opening you're going to know yourself better than you've ever known yourself before you're going to be in that stillness within yourself this also tells me with this double fertility and the possessions rune that all of your needs are going to be met abundantly okay so anything a material that you have to leave behind is going to be replaced uh, with something way better okay so know that if you were worried about dividing up assets or something like that there no need to worry because if you don't actually acquire the assets that you like uh, from your situation you're going to have it replaced in ways that you wouldn't even have imagined it's just going to be better and easier they said because you're aligned because you're no longer being drained or dragged down by this person in your energy whether that be physical emotional or energetic okay um really beautiful you guys i'm so proud of you i'm proud of your strength and your courage um please get the help that you need do ask for help rely on your friends family members or professionals that can help you through this because on the other side of this you are going to be stronger with more energy and there's lots of love coming in for you so remember anything that leaves at this time it's for your destiny it is a course correction all right and so i love you guys so much that was a really strong and rather specific message i do understand that but i have to give it the way that um, spirit gives it so much much love to you i'm really proud of you okay so um I'll leave that there. For those of you who would like to enter the drawing, remember it's free to enter, free to win. Here's how you do it. You'd be a subscriber if you're not already, so subscribe and hit that bell button. Like and share this video. And then in the comment section below, write, um, I, uh, I am in the stillness of my heart. I am in the stillness of my heart. And that lets me know that you would like to enter the drawing. Um, I'll put your name in and uh, announce the winner on video on the first of the month, and hopefully it is you. So until next time, aloha. Aloha, Pile 3. This is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with a really beautiful pick a card reading um, for what timeline are you aligning with and shifting to at this time. So the reason for this reading, though it is timeless, it is being done right in August of 2022, right after the Lionsgate. So this month is a, certainly a go with the flow month. We have the North Node sandwiching the Lionsgate. Um, we have the last super full moon of the year in Aquarius. We have Jupiter in retrograde, Uranus in retrograde, Mars in retrograde. There is huge change energy the north node has to do with our destiny our soul's path and purpose so as a species we are being redirected this is a course correction right and um so things may be leaving the life and entering in rather quickly to put us on the right path for our destiny so this is a destiny type of reading now mind you we always have our free will but spirits course correcting all of us um so that we can move to our highest destiny and and have the options and choices on that higher timeline okay so before i get started i want to say thank you thank you for liking sharing subscribing hitting that bell button all those things help my channel to grow and expand thank you guys so much for donating and tipping or sending me uh, mail and thank you again for commenting i love the community we're creating here let's keep it up and i love engaging with you in the comments so thank you 
Uh, also, I do offer private readings for those who have asked. That information is in the description box below, or you can go to my website, thewhisperingdragonfly.com. Now, I am currently not on any of the social media platforms. I may get back on there at some point, but there have been scammers about on um, targeting YouTube tarot readers, okay? So please know that if anyone using um, my profile picture or anything of that sort posing as me, do know that it is a scam, report them or ignore them, um, and please save your beautiful money. Don't give it to... Um, people soliciting you. All right. And then lastly, I do a free drawing for a 30 minute session with me personally, uh, each and every month. I will let you know at the end of the video, how to enter that drawing as some are here for the messages and not for the drawing. So the reason I giggled right there is that as I'm talking with you guys, this beautiful bird, and I forget which kind it is. I think it's a type of finch that has a, uh, red head and it's a white body and like blue gray uh, feathers on the outside. They're the cutest birds. And he just like popped up on the windowsill was trying to get in through the screen. Okay, so you guys have a beautiful energy here of change, transformation, about to take flight, okay? And we have focus here. So you guys chose the card of focus. The other things that we got is not for you and we got chop wood. So I feel like the energies that you've been in and many of us have been in is that something that you thought that you wanted to have turned out to be not for you. So you've been in a little bit of a limbo, like in between timelines. And so the old Buddhist saying is like, before enlightenment, we carry water and chop wood. After enlightenment, carry water, chop wood. Okay, this is the focus right now. You're moving to a timeline where you can you can be focused. Um, some of you will be focusing on spiritual enlightenment, so you're going to a higher spiritual timeline. This also feels like the power of your focus of the now and for manifestation. Okay, you're also discerning what's not for you. All right, so on this chessboard of life. You're moving to a timeline where you can close the door on things that are not meant for you. You're using your discernment and saying, as much as I might care about this person, as much as I might like this game, or as much as I might like this particular friend group, it doesn't feel right, okay? And you're able to um, close it down, to say nope and have boundaries. You're coming into an extreme type of focus for some of you you may be getting higher education for some of you like what i'm seeing is that you maybe had a huge friend group um that took a lot of your time um and since you're kind of going through an enlightenment process or you're moving into learning something new whether that be a spiritual discipline or whether that be uh, higher education uh, or you're focusing on a business that you want to create you guys are going to be laser focused at this time so you're going to say like i feel like people are inviting you to do things okay and you're like nope i'm focusing on the priorities i'm going to carry water and chop wood focusing on what i need to do for me to move forward and this feels good because it feels like this group almost has often put themselves last and um uh, possibly hasn't had the best boundaries with people because I do feel like you're very caring and compassionate, um, but not always having the best boundaries. And what Spirit's showing is that you're now focusing on yourself, um, your eyes on the prize, okay? And that's a really, really beautiful energy. Let's get uh, uh, some more cards and go deeper. What timeline upgrade here is pile three shifting to? What are they aligning with? Beautiful. Man. Phoenix rising, you guys. I'm proud of you. Power of your focus. Wow. Okay. We have seven of wands. All right. 
again, this is about focus, okay? She's got her little crown of thorns on, if it ha what have you. Seven of Wands can be a card of defense, but it also is a card of protecting the seed that you have planted, okay? So you're going to be focused on your goal, your outcome. Notice she's looking up. When one is looking up, they're looking in the visual part of our um, brain style, right? Our communication there. And so it's a pattern when we would look up, visual looks into the future. So she's looking into the future right now and she's saying, nope, I have worked really hard to get where I am and I'm going to focus on my goal. I'm going to keep my eye on the prize. And we have King of Pentacles, okay? King of Pentacles, many of you may be opening a uh, your own business. This is the card of the entrepreneur. This is the card of the business owner. This is the card of the spouse. All right. This is this is someone who uh, is um, makes healthy and long term commitments. They're very generous. All right. And you are focusing there. So if you're looking for a relationship and want to be married, you're not going to be um, where you used to maybe um, allow for people who didn't really want the same thing that you do. You're going to go, nope, not for me. I want to be married one day. All right, I want to be a wife or a husband. I'm not going to deal with people who aren't emotionally available. If you want to make a business, you're going to be focused. So if people, hey, you don't ever come out anymore. Nope, sorry, I'm, I'm focused on my business. All right. I'm doing my thing. I'm building my empire. We have Ten of Cups. So you are moving into the timeline of your highest dreams and fantasies. Ten of Cups is so much love, wishes fulfilled, um, new love coming in. All right. But it is also a card of fantasy. And this is dreams coming true this is you moving into a time where you're going to be so focused that that you take care of the details and you put yourself first because you see where you're headed here we also have phoenix rising here so nine of swords this says you are going to be so focused and you're moving to the timeline where your perseverance is creating the rebirth. I love this nine of, of wands because it shows the whole phoenix and him actually rising. Okay. It shows that you have persevered, that your flame is still burning and you will rise from the ashes. And this is why you are so discerning of what is not for you. You guys are going to be so focused on the energy of what you're creating what feels good to you, what is in harmony with what you're building, um, that no one can steer you away from that. We do have five of swords. You're going to cut through any type of disturbances in your mind, okay? You're going to cut through and focus, and this is where the not for you. If people come to you with their drama or trying to uh, put their problems on you or try to complain to you. You're going to go, nope, not for me. I'm focused elsewhere. Um, and so some people may drop out of your life movie, okay, because they may have been using you to vent to or to deal with their problems. Um, and if they go, let them go because you'll have other people. Like, like I said, your eye is on the prize. We have Ace of Swords. This is the card of the Magi. So this focus that you have, again, this is also spiritual discipline. This is um, spiritual truths and ahas coming out, communication in this way. Again, look at the focus of this heron. You may also want to look up the meaning of spiritual meaning of heron. I can't quite remember in this moment, but it may have information for you. Uh, I love this reading because you are just so, so focused on elevating in your spirit but elevating in whatever it is that you're building so if that's a love relationship you're going to be focused on and you want a long-term relationship you're not going to be dealing with any of the chumps or chumpesses who um, waste your time okay you're going to be very clear in your communication of what you want you're going to be very clear on what you'll accept and what you won't accept all right as far as with um if you're building a business, you're going to be really focused. And this also tells me that you're going to have integrity. You're going to move forward with, with spirit, okay, 
to build that business or to achieve the goal that you'd like. We have Knight of Pentacles. This is slow and steady wins the race. So the timeline that you're entering into does require focus because what you're building will build upon itself exponentially, but it's going to build brick by brick, step by step. Excuse me. <coughs> Ooh. Um, this is the most solid night and solid offer in the deck. It's also the slowest, okay? This is why they're asking you to focus because what you guys want to build is the real deal. If it's a relationship, this is the soulmate that you spend the rest of your life with and you're building a solid foundation. If it's a business, this is something that will grow and you want to build the solid foundation. So this is showing me you want to build the solid foundation if it's spiritual studies, you're going to grow little by little. And in the realm of spirit, you want to go step by step. You don't want to go too far too fast. Sometimes we can skip to the facets so quickly that our, we're not able to integrate the experiences. Okay, so this is going to be step by step. And we have temperance, which shows that you will be patient. And we have eight of pentacles. Okay, what you're building is going to last. You are mastering your craft. Okay, you're working hard. Your focus is amazing. But this isn't hard work that feels like effort. This feels like because with this 10 of cups um, and this nine of wands, you have the perseverance, the dedication to master your craft. And it's something that you love. And with the temperance, we have the dragonflies here. Um, and she's pouring these two to cups together, right? You're going to be conferring with spirit and anything that's not for you, it will leave your movie. And you're just going to step by step, carry water, chop wood, focus, 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 because you know what you're building. You have a passion in your heart. Okay. And with that passion, you're moving into the achievement of your dreams, but you're going to build it step by step where I feel like in the previous timeline, you may have gotten overwhelmed. Uh, there were too many opinions around you, too many people giving you advice on what you should do. And um, now you're moving into step by step, not going too far out in the details. Okay. Um, so that you can write your own story here. All right. I went to get a couple of runes. They got a lot of them, so we will look into them. Gorgeous. All right, we have Odin's rune. So this is uh, blank is the end, blank is the beginning. All right, you are writing your own story. All right, you've realized what isn't for you, like we said before, and you're at, okay, um, I'm going to go with the flow. We have the flow here. You're going to learn to go with the flow. You've got your eye focused on the prize and what the future is. And now you're going to flow with the energy. This is beautiful because it shows that you are not resisting the energy. You're going with the flow of the energy. We have the warrior. You have, um, in this new timeline, you have your warrior spirit. You have the perseverance to do what is right for yourself. The warrior always does what is right for themselves. That way they can protect the people. That way they can be focused. A warrior is always focused, okay? And especially the spiritual warrior. We've got harvest. You do have incoming harvest, like we showed, king of pentacles with the 10 of cups. Harvest indicates a process, all right? It typically talks about one year's time. This is why they're asking you to focus and to do the details to carry water, chop wood, because as you're building this, it's going to build step by step. You know, when you farm, you plant the seed, you don't expect the seed to bear fruit immediately. Okay. It takes time and watering and focus and patience. Okay. Uh, we also have breakthrough. And we have partnership. So for those of you looking for partnership within this year's time, you're going to be getting a breakthrough in partnership um, that is going to be very, very positive for you. That's going to help to lead you to the goals that you want. Uh, we have signals. So spirit is saying, use your intuition while you're focusing. They're going to show you signals, signs, symbols, and pictures, gut feelings 
that let you know if something is for you or isn't. If it is not a hell yes, it is a hell no, okay? There's no real maybes in the energy. <laughs> the maybes are, are denial that it's a no, okay? So this is, uh, you're gonna be very clear what isn't for you and you're gonna move forward. We have strength. This is also um, the rune of the ox, okay? It talks about you having the strength um, to do the hard work, to move forward with confidence. Um, and what you're moving forward to is fertility, abundance. This card is, uh, um, excuse me, this rune is about extreme abundance, extreme fertility, like moving into the position of being in um, open and available for the abundance. But how you're going to build this is step by step. And I feel like before, you know, on your previous timeline, like maybe sometimes you would be tempted to give up or you'd be tempted to hold on to people or situations for too long that were not for you. Um, now spirits really narrowing your focus to what is for you, what your goals are, what your big dreams are and anything or anyone who is not a part of your um, destined plan, they will uh, exit out of your movie. You're going to be having a really, really uh, strong boundaries and it creates harmony. Sixes are harmony and love. And notice that it's on, this fortune cookie is on a chessboard. Okay, you're holding it. You're holding the chessboard. You know what is for you and what isn't. So as you're making your moves step by step with this focus, they're giving you the strategy to achieve your manifestation. Okay, this is you working with spirit. And in the in-between, you're going to do the mundane day-to-day -day kind of stuff. All right? Um, but you'll do it with joy. You'll do it with focus because you're going to be having so much more energy because you're not um, giving your energy to that which isn't for you. Where before it feels like you were giving out your energy in hopes that uh, something would work out, a relationship, a situation that really wasn't for you. And or what you were supposed to do together that had already completed. And so now... They're saying that you're going to be in this process of really focusing and you actually might find some relief in just doing the day-to-day -day stuff. Like I'm seeing someone sweeping their floors and like mopping and it brings like so much relief. It brings so much zen. It helps you to focus. So some of those day-to-day -day chores may be kind of your meditation that helps you to get the vision from spirit to know what's for you and what isn't. It feels like this particular, from now until next year, you're going to be increasing in your intuition and your communication with spirit exponentially. It's like you guys are working as a solid team in tandem, where before I felt like you were kind of grasping for things outside of yourself to try to figure out what was for you or what wasn't, and it got a little confusing, but now you're inside doing your step-by-step -step or meditative processes um, to help you to move forward. So really, really proud of you. I uh, love you guys. I'm so excited. I love this idea of focus like that um, because that's how you do um, receive your manifestations is focusing um, you mastering the focus of your own mind. Okay, so beautiful timeline. I'm excited for what you guys are building. I love it because what I'm seeing is it needs that solid foundation because it's going to be big and amazing. Okay, so uh, those of you building businesses, I feel like this is going to help the world in huge ways. So kudos to you for doing things step by step and making sure um, uh, this is a real side note. So if you're still with me, it's for you because a lot of times people have already clicked off by this time. But uh, for those of you that are wanting to build like a nonprofit or something like that, this is great. I'm seeing incoming investors and grants um, coming available to you. All right. So just hang in there. That's why they're saying step by step, rec read the fine print, recognize what's for you, what's not for you. Um, and in the meantime, just do the work um, because slow and steady wins the race here. 
All right, so love you guys. Um, for those of you who would like to enter the drawing, remember it's free to enter, free to win. Here's how you do it. You be a subscriber if you're not already, so subscribe, hit that bell button, like and share this video, and then in the comment section below, write slow and steady wins the race. Uh, slow and steady wins the race. All right, and I will do that drawing on the first of the month on video and announce the winner, and hopefully it is you. So until next time, aloha.